Well, hello there, Mr. Golem. Oh, hey, look at What are you doing upside down? What, oh, oh. <laughs> everything going okay? You you monitoring the, the system and everything okay? Nothing's backed up? Everything's everything's running smoothly? Yeah, every, everything looks to be running pretty smoothly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Upside Down Iron Golem, man. Okay. Well, let's go, uh, let's go check how good we're doing on our supplies down here. What? <laughs> what are you... Mm, what are you talking about? In, I don't... You have not been monitoring the system. You have... What do I pay you for? Do I pay you just to sit there upside down or what? Jeez, come on. Monitor that stuff down there. It's like a... It's like a clusterfuck. <laughs> it's like a clusterfuck of a mess. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Stuff. Man. So, uh, yeah, we were kind of, um, AFKing here last night. And, you know, I'm, I was used to, we're going to organize this a little bit. It's not going to be 100% yet because I still don't have the filtering in the back going right. Um, but I got to get this. I got some stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't work. Do -do -do, do -do -do. So I moved my, uh, I moved everything down here last night, I guess, yesterday. So I guess we'll, uh. We'll use the fact that I did that. We'll just kind of dump this crap. See, I gotta make a sorting system that goes down here and, um, stuff. You guys might be thinking, what's up with the gold nugget? Well, I was trying to... Oh my gosh, that's another thing the Mr. Upside Down Iron Golem guy has an issue with, I guess. He doesn't like zombie pigmen, I guess. And so I went and, um... <laughs> I was trying to capture zombie, a baby zombie pigmen, because one was right, right by me when I came out. Or got back on. And the guy runs up to the Iron Golem, and the Iron Golem just one-shots him. I was like, oh, man. There goes my little baby Iron Golem, but whatever. Um, I guess we just start... No, you stay. We just start taking everything out of here. Oh, my gosh. And this is in all the chests, too. Look at this. Look at that, man. You know, we do have an area for the sticks down here already, though. So, ugh. Man, that Iron Golem didn't really, didn't really do his job, is he? I hope you guys like it. I named him Dinnerbone. I think everyone knows of that. Um, so that's why he's upside down. I was going to name him Jeb and make him a colorful Iron Golem. But I figured I kind of liked... Ooh. Oh, yeah, those are going to Searance. Um, but I kind of figured I like the whole... Um, whole uh, upside down thing than a glowy uh iron golem so that's why i went with that she went with that instead oh my gosh yep just keep flowing in just keep flowing in just keep doing your thing um where do we go we got sticks well at least this one's done filtered at least everything da -da 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 -da, up until this point should be good um we can put you know what i'm not gonna be able to put gunpowder in here for long that's full. See, what ended up happening, it wasn't even the sticks this time. In the past, it's been the sticks. This time, it was the sugar and the spider eyes that gave me the issue this time. Let's take those. Let's see. Uh, these done. Nope, these are not done. Um, oh, we can put you back in there, though. We don't need you. All right. So, we're going to keep... Uh, we're going to keep filtering this, and then we'll get it back into working shape. All right, so we got the whole thing sorted out. Everything should be back to normal. Now the only problem is we have to, you know, obviously, I have a whole thing of, st have a whole thing of sticks down there. Um, so we got to really, when I say down there, I mean down there. We really have to now just go through. I wish we could, like, take glows or... I wish we could have like a um whatchamacallit block. A gunpowder block. That'd be pretty cool. It's called TNT, dude. Yeah, I know, I gotta get some TNT. But what we're gonna do is we're going to um you know, we're just gonna take uh as much of this as we can down on one of these. And since I have I do have this kind of like set up. So this was all the crap that we had just like take that out. That doesn't go in there. But that was that doesn't go in there either. <laughs> This was all the stuff that was, like, jammed up in the wrong, um, wrong boxes. What are they called? Wrong chests. So, we, you know, that's what we got. Uh, so we're just gonna, 
We okay. We did we did sugar. Um, let's do bottles. Let's grab as many bottles as we can. Uh, you know, I don't know what's going on with that whole deal either v with vodka and Kaniva. Kaniva's been Kaniva has something that he's been planning on doing, and so uh, he hasn't really been on the server lately. Um, so he hasn't really been here to take my supplies. Those don't need to be taken. These do though. And vodka, you know, we haven't really sat down to talk prices or anything. So, you know, I don't know what, but Kaniva's business has been doing pretty good. So he, I think uh, he kind of owes me some stuff. But yeah, okay. Now the question is, do we have any space down here? Uh, uh, uh. Nope, not really. So that means it's going up here. And then we've got one more. We got sticks. That whole chest right there is full of sticks already. And I don't know if I told you guys, but what I'm planning on doing with some of the sticks um, is making a furnace, a little furnace thing at spawn to where people, it'll, it'll be an automated system to where it will come, it'll be checking furnaces to see if they have sticks. If they don't have any sticks or if they're running low on sticks, then it's going to come by and uh, come in and give them sticks. You know, just going to try to refill them all at the same time. And then, um, same thing with here. What I'm going to do actually here, it's not going to be as complex as what's at spawn. But I'm going to have part of this be storage and the other part be furnace. And maybe some other stuff. I don't, I'm not fully sure yet. It's all going to have some sort of redstone opening sort of thing. Um, still have yet to decide exactly how I want to do this area. But... What's going to end up happening is it's going to take the sticks from up there. And what I'm thinking is during the day, I'll have it reroute to one area. And during the night, I'll have it reroute to another area. So at night, like, it will gather sticks that I can take to spawn. And during the... Or maybe I'll just have it come down, try to fill up. Yeah, that's what I'll probably do. I'll have it try to fill up the the furnaces that I have down here. Try to fill those up first. If it can't fill those up, then I'll put them into a chest. And then I'll put those at spawn yeah that's how i'll probably end up doing it um so yeah that's what we're gonna do and yeah so now it's all sorted so we are going to uh, uh, uh. i have something else i want to do real quick while i'm here so there's been one thing i've been meaning to do i've been wanting a better way to get down below because coming up here and walking up there then going back down the steps kind of gets cumbersome and annoying so we decided to why not, right? <laughs> Why? Because we can. And if anything falls down here anyways, then the uh, Iron Golem will just come get him. So, what? right as of now, I just have it like this. But what I am going to end up doing is I'm going to end up doing the whole backward stair thing right here too. And push a button right here. And then these two pistons will retract uh, and for a certain amount of time, allowing me to get out. And then they'll close. Ow! And then they will... Uh... <laughs> can he... Is this... Seven? Where did he spawn in? They can't... I'm assuming they can't spawn... Ooh. Nope. Where did you come from, my friend? Huh. Hmm. I wonder where he came from. But anyways. So then they'll, then they'll retract behind me. Uh, now I got this ugly stuff. Ugh. Yuck. But, uh... So that's... That's one thing I've been wanting to do. Is... Um slime block right there just so i have an easier way to get down now i need a faster way to get up and i've been thinking about the whole minecart thing shift minecart shift minecart getting in and out of minecarts but i have yet to decide on that so we uh we got our next thing to do now hey guys so we're back and we're at spawn um man i don't understand my frames today have been like going up and down dropping and going um so we have a little you guys know i've been helping Kniva. i've been supplying him with some of the stuff he needs for what you call it, for potions, and part of our deal was that I would get a cut of, cut of what he does. I've only given him one payment so far, but he hasn't asked for any more, and so I think he's been good so far for supplies. So he, I messaged him and he said, "Take what you think's fair." I know he's taken, uh, stuff out of this chest already, and I know he had like a stack or two of iron ingots. So I'm just gonna actually, I, I'm short on iron right now, so I'm actually just gonna take a little bit, I'm just gonna take a stack and a little bit more for it, because I really, one thing I'm gonna do is I want to, uh, there's a couple of things, I got something I gotta show you guys, but um, there's a couple things. One is we have 
we're not gonna I don't need diamonds right now for uh for anything so I figured you know what let's make uh let's make these oh man item frames keep disappearing on this we're gonna make these iron um instead so I don't need to make a lot of money I just want iron so I think we're gonna for iron horse armor, we're gonna do like four iron for a uh, horse saddle we're gonna do four iron and for a name tag we're gonna do like I don't know six iron something but we're gonna change that to iron um, but, <laughs> but one thing we're gonna do is because I don't know uh, for far siders I don't know how many of them make it this far into my video so if anyone does or maybe that's me I don't know but we have this guy right here ow 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 Oh, he's reading it. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, okay, I got it. So, we have... I'll go show you guys what this is all about. But we have an E-pranker, so to speak, on Far Side. And his name is the Poet Pranker. So, hello, hello all fi Far Siders. Gather, ar gather around, gather around. The Poet Pranker has come to town. I've got Anna once, and I'll get her again. But when and how... Panic to the end. You see, Farsiders, you all shall be got, as what I did to Anna is the beginning of what? <laughs> the pranks will be hard and probably annoying, so sit back and relax as my pranking ways may give you heart attacks. <laughs> so lock your doors and protect your stores, as the Poet Pranker has created a huge war. The Poet Pranker. Now, the funny thing is, the Poet Pranker, whoever it was, obviously didn't sign it. So... Uh, Poet Pranker. Uh, Poet Pranker. Warning. Or, Poet Pranker. Uh, we're gonna sign it. <laughs> I don't, I hope they don't, hope, hopefully they don't use this as like a log or something. But I'm gonna sign it. So people might think it's me. But they can still read it. Right? So you can still read it and everything. But I figured I'd sign it and put it back. And see... <laughs> You know, so then people think it's think it's me when really maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's not me, but you know, maybe people think it's me. Um, so let's see what they did to Anna. Ooh, someone, ooh, someone started building more in the uh, modern district, which I'm thinking of possibly building a house over there, or some sort of something. Maybe my house, since I already have a shop. I need a house still at spawn. I need a second shop. Um, record. Oh, that must have been to her. Oh, did she clean it up? Ah, she must have cleaned it up already. Dang it. But what ended up happening was... she. Let's see what it is. Hello, Anna. How are you today? I really hope you're okay. What has happened? What can I say? Looks like the spiders came to play. You're home no more. Sticky it shall be. Clean up you must. Annoying we'll see. What have you learned? <laughs> what can you say? Looks like the poet pranker has come to play. Ah... But what they did was they they took cobwebs and just made this pl filled this place with cobwebs, so that it was hard for her to you know move around um, and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is so now we have the poet pranker. It's gonna be someone doing pranks, but they're not gonna tell us who. So that is what we have to look forward to. Ha! <laughs> you guys like that rhyme? That was a great rhyme, wasn't it? That was made up off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> So, we are going to uh, go redo those signs and whatnot uh, so that we can have um, have people know that it's now an iron shop. And I'll tell people that we converted from diamonds to iron because we want iron. I want iron more than I need diamonds right now. So, we're going to go do that. And, um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. No. How? What? No. Oh, man. That's crap. Where did that guy come from? Did they change the... Man. Ah. Did they change... They had to have changed the light levels on, on, on spawns. No way. Because there's... I mean... Oh, man. Dang it. Where did that guy come from?
Seriously. Man. I don't know where he came from. Dude, they had to have changed this, the light level on, on something. Because I've been having this problem in Seriously. Oh, man. I was just testing this. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Okay, now I'm gonna have to. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't. I can't remember how this went. Oh dang it. I was just testing it. Ugh. All right. Well, I figured we would end this episode off with trying to get this thing working again. I think I have it, or at least have the structure slash idea behind it, like good to go. Um, let's take that, and we need to put, because what are you? You're the clock, right? Yeah. That needs to be connected. It's not the clock, just when an item, item goes in here, it spits it out. Boom. See? Redstone. Okay. Um, so, let's just get rid of all this. I hope... I hope my thought here works. I put it out in creative a little bit more. And um, I think what I have, I don't want to be extruding this boundary if I can at all help it. So that, 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 that. I think that's all underneath the boundary now. All right. So... What are we gonna, how are we gonna do this? Let's, you know, I have to dig down um, a little bit, I think. So if we go under here, like so. Now I can, I, I now I didn't restrict myself to, ah, to stay. Those have to stay there, so there we go, and there we go. I didn't restrict myself to have to stay, um, stay underneath of it when I'm down here, but, ooh. Well, good thing I came down here and that piston would have been stuck there. Alright, it's just, uh, I'll clear this out a little okay. bit. So our first item is of business is to build, I don't even know necessarily what it's called, but it's, um, one of these little circuits that will push pistons depending on these. So we want a comparator here and I didn't build enough room. Dang it, I thought I had enough room. One more, one more layer, guys. Let's put some torches down here, shall we? There we go, and there we go. So let's just put this down here. Actually, there's supposed to be a block there. I could have left that. Anyways, so what ends up happening is the these look for an item, a certain amount of items to be in there, right? And then once they're there, right? Comparator, comparator. Then we bring out, then we have a little piece of redstone here. A little piece of redstone here. And then that activates pistons. So we need both regular pistons and sticky pistons. One side to be regular, the other side to be sticky. So we need the same thing on the other side here. And how did we have this sticky? Sticky, regular, redstone. So what ends up happening is we're going to have the daylight sensor come down. Like on top of this block right here. Sort of thing. And what ends up happening is you run... You don't want it right there. You don't you don't want those two connecting like that. So you run it like this. It goes into this block. Right? And so if we have items, let's say 32 items in here, right? Let's do this again, shall we? <laughs> put a redstone block there and a redstone block there. So then when you put an item in here, right? Let's just put like four items. It's going to go over. And then it's going to hold it. Perfect. See? And as that switches, we can have... Um, what we're going to do is we, we can have uh, repeaters come off of here. And what we're going to... It updated that. That's fine. And what we're going to end up having it do, actually... So now uh, we need that other one to move, too. They need to both move at the same time. Um, but anyways, we're going to have some... Pistons then. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna have some pistons that send out one block one tick one signal ticks. Oops, wrong one. Wrong one. That will then activate the above. Now that's gonna go over. Perfect. Um 
See, now they're both good. Now they're both running like they should. Um, and then these will just send out one tick pulses, which will eventually get up to those. So I'm going to work on that, which is, this is the whole system, right? So now, now if we feed in a signal into here to turn this on, then just watch. No. Okay. We're, maybe I can't, maybe I need a repeater. I probably need a repeater so that it doesn't come one way, but it's, it acts like a button. So that's, what's going to be the daylight sensor. So see. We don't want that. So we're going to have a one tick pulse come down too with, with that, turn that on. So then it's like day pressing a button and then see how, see how it, it's a whole system that works together. So I will, uh, I'll put it together and then, uh, show you guys the finished results. So guys, here it is. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 oh yeah. Um, so if we look at this, what this ends up doing is this side is able to send out two different signals. And this one is two to be able to send out two different signals. So what we're going to have it do is if we watch this real quick, this will be the daylight sensor, right? Woo. Yeah, dude, we can really see what's going on there. Let's, uh, let's just take that out real quick. Let's take that out real quick and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll replace that with that right there. So if we see what ends up going on here is these push over, I'll just, I'll even put in a couple more blocks just so we can see and I can explain it what's happening while we, while we sit here. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. See, but what you can see is those two send out signals, right? Because I ha send a one tick pulse, which will go up there, activate that one, and then activate that one. These push back, activate that one, activate that one. So this is the default state right here. This is the one that it wants to stay in. So we will, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to probably like fill this up with a lot of items. But as of right now, it'll send out this pulse. One of those will send out lava or pick up lava. This one will send out water, let's say, right? So then, okay, so how does this work? Let's think, let's think about this, right? This one sends out, it'll send a pulse up right here, activate that. So we'll want it to withdraw, withdraw something. And at the same time, okay, so this is how it is now. Activates right there. This one would have taken something away while this one puts something in, right? And it's sitting here, it's killing chickens, doing its thing. And then when it comes back, once it comes back, which would be, so it's going to stay in this position right here. And then when night comes, it'll come back. And then this one will pick up what it put down and this one will put down. So then the next, so we don't really even need to, yeah, but we don't need to put more items in here. That's just for that one to retract. So then day comes around again. Push and pull, push and pull. There we go. Perfect. So that's how this works. Um, we just have to... So one thing I had to make sure of was some of these are a little bit weirder than the others. I wanted to make sure each one had a... Uh, had a See, when there's no redstone signal, these will automatically go. But during the day, there will be a redstone signal there that will be holding that there. Uh, which means... You know, I thought we had to have a pulse here, but I guess we don't. Which means I can fill this back in because yeah we don't want it to pulse i was thinking i was thinking that we wanted i was thinking we wanted this to pulse but we want that to hold the items so then they don't switch too often but what i end up having to do was this one i wanted to make sure there's two repeaters on each one so that i could i could stagger the signals and make sure there's enough timing on it this one goes up here comes around over here goes up That's where the uh, daylight sensor will go. They they come up, activate that. Same thing here on this side. This side we had to do a little bit different though. We had to go up here. I had to make sure that, like I said, I could have the timing here. So I came around, made, then it goes up and it activates right there. This is the only one without a repeater on top. And then this side I had to do, do different again too. Uh, because of the fact that there's already redstone. Let me show you. There's already redstone there from the chicken, from the egg thrower that will be there. That will be throwing eggs from from this hopper right here. There's already uh, redstone. There's always already redstone right here. So I couldn't have these two, uh, these two lines of redstone. Ow! Couldn't have these two lines of redstone intersecting. So I had to do something about that. And 
That's why this one also has a different path on getting up here. But that activates that, which activates that, which will activate these. So if we look, if we put a different block, let's put a that, a stone, let's put a redstone block, and a quartz. So we should get, we should get all of these items, right, when we, uh, when we place a redstone torch. All of those should come into this. There's one. They could miss. It's not 100%. It's probably sitting up top somewhere. Or down here. Maybe dropped in a hopper. I don't know. But then we should get the other two popping out. Nope, oh, there goes one of them. See one of them fall. Yeah, I think they fell back into my inventory. Really? You're going to come down here and mess? Ugh. Alright. So, they must have came down in my inventory or something. Oh, there's one. There's one. I don't know what happened to this stone. The actual stone block. It's not... Oh, it is still in there. Did I not get... Huh. So, this line isn't activating. Why not? Huh. This line didn't activate. You guys see that? Let's see if we can figure this out real quick. Okay, you guys need to come back. Thank you. Let's just take all you out. There you go. That didn't activate. Why are you not activating? You're connected. You're connected. Oh, there we go. It clicked that time. Stone's in there. Huh. That's fine. Okay. Deactivate. There we go. Okay. It was just the timing. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. That was weird. Hopefully I didn't break anything doing that. Alright. Well, I thank you guys for watching. <laughs> so we next episode we will start off with showing you guys this thing in action. So, like always, my name's Cluster. Dream big.